Jesse, I'm on arm. I'm on arm. Jesse, get one with the ship, please. Jesse, Jesse. Facts about famous people. Ten African American Western actors. Okay. Today we are going to take a look at our African American brothers who contributed to the Western genre. Some are supporting and others leading. The West was not a politically correct place. It was a dangerous place, as you will see. We're all here to celebrate the greatest film genre, the Western. Here we go. If you like this video, make sure you hit the notification button so you will see the new videos as they come up. Head over to my channel to see all my videos. The link is in the description. Morgan Freeman as Ned Logan in Unforgiven, 1992. Morgan Freeman may be pushing it a little bit in the age department, but this retired gunslinger isn't ready to be put out to pasture quite yet. Will Smith as James T. West in Wild Wild West, 1999. Okay, sure. The movie the way, kind of blew, but the badass levels that Will Smith is able to transport to the 19th century totally makes up for it in this confused steampunk feature. Fred Williamson as Big Ben in Adios Amigos, 1976. Football legend Fred Williamson wrote, directed and starred in this mid-70s comedy alongside Richard Pryor. Goodness gracious, I'm getting mad. Can you really Whoa. use that thing? Hey. Turn me in. Bill Cosby as Caleb Reavers in Man and Boy, 1971. As weird as it is to think of Mr. Sweaters doing anything badass, Bill Cosby chose this Western drama for his film debut about a Civil War soldier on a mission Darn with his was... son to recover their stolen horse. The Putting pops was we still a long way off. Cleveland Little as Sheriff Bart in Blazing Saddles, 1974. The new sheriff in Mel Brooks legendary comedy is as funny as he is badass, dealing with racism at every turn. Bart even manages to free himself from gunpoint by holding himself at gunpoint. And let's not forget, he also has a hell of a voice. Max Julian as Bushrod in Thomason and Bushrod, 1974. Designed to be an African-American take on Bonnie and Clyde, where the couple went on a tear through the South, stealing from the rich white landowners, Robin Hood style. Sidney Poitier and Harry Belafonte as Buck and the Preacher, in Buck and the Preacher, 1972. This one starts off like every rom-con. At first, Harry Belafonte's Preacher doesn't really like Buck. In fact, he wants to kill him in order to collect a reward from a white gang. But when they fall in buddy love and team up to take on the white world side by side, it also gets bonus badass points for being Sidney Poitier's directorial debut. Mario Van Peebles as Jesse Lee in Posse, 1993. Buffalo soldier Jesse Lee is out for the blood of the man who killed his preacher father. We're pretty sure it wasn't the same preacher from Buck and the Preacher, however. Danny Glover as Mal Johnson in Silverado, 1985. Danny Glover is never too old for this shit. What's all this then? Jamie Foxx as Django in Django Unchained, 2012. Not since Austin Powers as a dude killed more people while wearing a blue crushed velvet suit. If that's not badass, we don't know what is. I like the way you die, boy. You'll kill him. It ain't your fault I've got a bonus it. actor for you today. You, Although I have me. a video of him on my channel, I want You're to mention Woody Strode here. Woody yes, Strode in Sergeant Rutledge. Have no mercy the on big studios lady. wanted an actor you'll like Sidney no Poitier or Harry Belafonte, recalled Strode. But Mr. Ford defended me. He said, well, they're not tough enough to be what I want Sergeant Rutledge to be. John Ford put classic words in my mouth, 
You never see a Negro come off a mountain like John Wayne before. I had the greatest glory hallelujah ride across the Pecos River that any black man had ever had on the screen. And I did it myself. I carried the whole black race across that river. Thanks for your time today. I hope you like this video. There are many more in my channel. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Please hit the notification button to get my new videos. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.